Your solution for day 91. Let's first of all, get accessing those dad jokes. So I'm going to import requests. Actually, I'm going to turn off my sidebar. I'll bring up the database. I'll do that later. Import requests and JSON. And once again, let's do the usual. Let's pull in the result from the address and make sure we want the JSON versions because we want the ID number this time. We don't just need the plain text. We need the ID number because we need to save that in a REPL DB for us. Okay, we need to show that joke to the user. So let's pass it first so we can actually pull that out. And then just for our sanity to start with, let's print out the JSON structure so we can see what we need. Okay, so it's working, it's pulling out, we've got the ID, we've got the joke and the status. So let's print out the joke and we'll keep the ID to hand. I've got a variable called JK to store the joke. An ID to store the ID. So let's check that works. Print out JK rather than joke, because joke is the full JSON. <laughs> We want to stop laughing at the jokes as we're running them, but that's pretty good. Okay, so I need to ask the user if they want to save it. So I've done a slightly different way of doing menus this time. This is a proper old fashioned one. Um, in fact, I'm going to put a slash n in front of it just to make sure that's on a different line. Yeah, and this is a proper old fashioned way of doing it because the idea is you're meant to put that letter in. Um, let's do that. If answer is n and in fact i'm going to do dot lower on there then we want to just continue this all needs to be in a loop as well doesn't it so let's put that in a loop while so if i say nah on a new one it'll continue which means go back to the top of the loop and start again l if the answer is s for save then Let's bring in Replit DB. So, on my database, let's pop that in this split so I can see it. I need to import my DB. There we go. And what I would need to do is I would need to set a key to a specific value. And the key, I think, we're going to use the ID number, and the value is just going to be the joke. Now, thinking about this, this is actually a better way of doing it because we're storing them locally, but we can go away and get them if we want to later. So we don't actually need to do that second load, which is quite nice. That saves us a bit of a fuss. I will show you how to do both though, because that was the actual question, wasn't it? Then continue, we'll jump back to the top. Actually, we better tell them it's saved, hadn't we? Print, then go back to the top. Otherwise, Let's get our keys for key in keys, print DB key. So let's print out every joke. We also have a little line between them. And you know what? I think I'm going to bring in the old favorites we haven't seen for a while. OS and time to just pause that a little bit. So before getting to the top of the menu, we'll do dot sleep one and OS dot system clear to wipe that screen and here after showing every joke we'll do time dot sleep one so we can see the jokes popping up so let's see that work okay what is three letters and starts with gas a car like that save that one so that should have saved into our database now we should see the number of key Increasing. There we go. We've got a new joke. Uh, what did the buffalo say to his little boy when he dropped him off of school? Bison. <laughs> Bison. Okay. Save that one as well. I like that. The problem is with me, I'll save all these jokes. Let's say, not happy with that one. Let's go for a new joke. Let's just start us at the front again. Okay, cool. Let's see the old jokes. Brilliant. The only difference you might have had is you might have gone, well, let's actually go out to the API, as the original question said. Now, all we had to do was that with a joke ID on it. 
So to get it from the original file, well, we just need to do another one of these. So result equals requests.get that. Now we needed to, let's make that an F string because that last bit there needs to be that key value. So that's the, like the ID of the joke, which we've already stored. And we need our headers to be brought in here as well. So that should pull that in. Then I just need to pass that as JSON. And I should be able to print out joke, joke. Let's see if that works. Uh, load all jokes. Yeah, and it works fine. Now we are doing direct questions to the API then every time, which is not ideal because if we store things locally, they will run faster. So actually caching them and storing the DB, keeping a copy for ourselves long term would be better for us. But this works as well and shows we can use the API.